All right, guys, I want to talk to you for just a little bit about how to do some basic color correction using Adobe Premiere. And essentially what we're going to try to do today is turn a clip that looks like this into a clip that looks something like this. And so uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I already have my clip imported and put on a timeline. So the next thing to do is choose the color workspace up at the top of the screen. And then over here on the right hand side, you will notice that the Lumetri color panel opens up. And this panel is pr actually pretty great because it works um, in the order that it's uh, put here. So we're going to start with this basic correction and kind of work our way down. And so if you haven't done it already, uh, make sure that you adjust the white balance. I mean, hopefully you filmed it correctly and you don't really have to do that. But uh, just in case you have to, um, you choose this little eyedropper here on white balance and then you select something that is white and it will adjust it for you. Luckily, this was filmed pretty decently, so it's not going to adjust much. And so we're going to move forward. Next, we're going to mess with this tone. And so I'm going to adjust the exposure. So brighten that up a little bit. Maybe add some more contrast. Um, and again, you're just adjusting these to your liking, what feels good. And uh, let's bring up those whites and the blacks. We can bring a little bit. So let's say you get to the bottom and you're like, oh, I don't really like that. You can go ahead and click this reset button and it takes you back to what you originally started with. Likewise, right next to that, you have this auto button. So if I click that, it will try to adjust everything automatically. And that actually looks pretty good. Hidden right underneath that is your saturation. And so you'll notice too that that's been bumped up a little bit to help some of those colors pop. So once we feel good about our basic correction, then we can click on the creative and we can actually give it a look. Think of a look as kind of like a filter on Instagram that gives your image kind of a different feel. And these are called LUTs. Premiere has a bunch of presets that uh, they call them looks. Uh, LUTs, they're the same thing. And so if I click through this, it's giving me all these different types of looks that I can apply to my image. And so when I find one that I like, you know, let's say I like, you know, this one, I just click on it and it applies that to my image. Now you'll notice though that what this previews and what this actually did aren't the same. And that's not always the case. So uh, something to pay attention to. But I'm going to go back to none. So it gives us our base image. And uh, you can obviously play with these presets, or you can also import your own. So to do that, click on this drop down and click custom. And uh, I already have a folder of presets, uh, some LUTs downloaded from Peter McKinnon. And I'm just going to go ahead and try some of these out, like uh, this Arctic Circle. I hit open, and it applies it. Okay, And so you're seeing that obviously that changed a little bit. If I turn that off. There's the original, and then there's the new one. So if I want to try another one, I can click this drop down, go to browse, and I can choose another one. Let's try this uh, clean and tidy. Okay, so it's giving it a lot warmer feel. And so you can kind of just pick until you find one that you like. So there we go. That's good. The classic teal and orange look. So once I've applied my look or my LUT, then I need to go back up to this basic correction and adjust some of this stuff. So I'm going to adjust my exposure again. Let me bring down the, the contrast. And I just want to make it so that that LUT isn't like so incredibly overbearing that it looks weird. Um, so I'm, again, I'm just kind of, see, I'm going to mess with this. And you just adjust it until it feels kind of the way that you want it to feel. So that looks pretty good. Again, you can see the difference. Um, it's subtle, but it's it's there. All right. Next, in the creative section, uh, you have the intensity of that LUT. So I can adjust it to, again, my liking so that it's not overpowering, but it's there. 
And then another popular look, if you like it, is this faded film. Um, and they've made it really easy by just adding this slider so I can, you know, make it that kind of faded look. I just like kind of a subtle look there. And uh, that looks pretty decent. Um, you can go ahead and mess with a lot of this other stuff to see what it does and to see how you like it. Um, obviously, that's totally up to you. And uh, you're really just focusing on creating the look and the feel of each image so that it helps tell the story that you're trying to tell. And obviously, it looks a lot better than what the camera's giving you. And it uh, helps you create the look ultimately that you want. So go ahead and play with it, try it out, see what you come up with, and uh, have a good time with it. And we'll see you next time.